In this video, I will show you how I have connected my bi-directional meter with a rooftop solar photovoltaic system. Not only this, I would also show you how I have converted my existing KV meter into a solar meter. So let's get started with the video. Here is the 10 kilowatt grow watt grid tie inverter and inside this metal cage I have the AC and the DC boxes here in this plastic PVC pipe you can see a 4 core cable RYB and the neutral which is coming out of the inverter and here is the existing meter a KV meter uh, this meter we will convert it into a solar meter right now it is connected with the grid you can see the rating by pausing the video of this meter and here are the respective ports below this we have the bus bar on this bus bar there is a connection from the grid this wire from the grid is coming from underground and at the same time it is connected with the load here we have a chamber in which we will connect the bi-directional meter so it's empty now okay and now you can see a plastic pipe which is coming from the rooftop this is the DC wire from the solar panels which goes inside this DC distribution box here we have the DC fuse and the DC surge arrester from this isolation the DC wire goes back into the inverter here you can see the MC4 connectors and the strings when the DC is finally converted into AC from here the in inverter gives the house output which goes to an AC distribution box where we have a 63 amps MCB so from here the wire is going inside that existing meter now we have shifted it to the upper right corner upper left corner now it will give you the reading of how much unit of solar output is given and the output of that meter is directly connected with this bus bar you can see the grid pole which is outside the house from there the four core cable is coming from underground this is the pipe which is going inside and it is directly convert connected to this bi-directional meter which is specially available in the market why it is bi-directional because it will show you the import unit and the export unit both so the output of this meter is connected with this bus bar I'll explain you why we have done this I have a drawing with me see from here the grid is coming to the bi-directional meter and it's going towards the bus bar so the output of the bi-directional meter goes to the bus bar so this is the grid wire it's going inside the bi-directional meter input ports RYB and the neutral and the output of the meter goes towards the bus bar and at the same time this bus bar is connected with the load that is the house okay now we'll see the other side after the bus bar what we have connected so now in this diagram you see the bus bar is also connected with the load that is the house supply okay from here another set of four wires that is RYB and neutral from the bus bar is going to that existing meter which we have converted into a solar meter which will show the solar readings so this wire goes to the solar meter and from here the input of that solar meter is coming from the inverter so the input is I've already shown you that it's coming from the inverter so that's how we have connected it now we are going to turn on the inverter so I have put on the regulator to the on mode now the display is showing a fault that the AC is out range that is because just now the inverter is not connected with the grid and also I've kept the MCB off for better protection meanwhile this person is making the cutout fuse to connect with the grid now that person will connect 
the bidirectional meter to the grid as you can see the meter has just started giving the reading now we are going to start the inverter see just now in this bidirectional meter you can see on the right bottom corner that only one phase is connected now you can see two phases are connected let me just zoom in now you you okay now all the three phases are connected which is visible on the display you can also see the rating of the secure bidirectional meter in case you want to tell you the rating so now we are going to turn on the inverter uh, this is a 63 amps mcb let me just turn it on okay so now the fault normal fault light should go off okay now yes now it is showing that it is waiting to connect it will take 30 seconds So you, it's now 10, we can do the countdown, just for fun. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's it. Now it's connecting. It usually takes so much time because inside it's calibrating the frequency and the voltage from different phase. Okay, now it's started. So, okay the generation has started now it's slowly the power will ramp up I guess it's 5.30 in the afternoon we've been fixing all this throughout the afternoon so it won't reach the peak okay that's what uh, that's was it guys and that's how I converted this grid tie inverter in case you want to know more about it there is a link below this